What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I got me and my boy Johnny over here. He has his 335 just posted up. I got my 135 and then I got my girl's 135. But anywho, this 135 is finally back and we finally got the new water pump and thermostat installed. Huge special shout out to Showman Motors for installing this bad boy. So it's right over here is the original water pump and thermostat. If you guys take a look at this, he told me the gasket right there, as you guys can see, slightly cracked right there in the center. He's like, that wasn't really leaking too, too much but it was leaking ever so slightly. This actually wasn't the issue, surprisingly. The water pump right here, I don't know if you guys can see all that corrosion. That gasket, once it gets hot up and up to temperatures, that gasket expands and it starts leaking. So that was actually our issue. And that actually made complete sense once you actually explained that to me because I was like, sometimes it leaks and sometimes it doesn't. So thankfully we have a brand new water pump and thermostat inside the 135. And now uh, we do have something to make it official. <laughs> So we just got the brand new plates on here, 2022 tags. You guys already know, you know, big ball. No, I'm kidding. That's a big cute. baller. I just one year in advance. <laughs> I just realized, like, owning a couple cars, you're gonna have to do all your. I have to do literally, I think, three cars in oh the next my few gosh, months. Gosh, that's crazy. It's gonna be a lot of money, but it is what it is. I'm just super happy we finally got these plates on here. Um, and yeah, so we got new water pump, new thermostat, new plates. Um, what's next? Uh, nothing. We are officially good, good go. on this car. So <laughs> the next thing is working on my girl's 135. You guys saw in the last video and you guys are gonna be seeing in this video we're gonna be pretty much modifying the baloney schmoney out of my girls 135 so uh let's shift focus into that bad boy so this is officially day two and uh so yeah we got everything situated on the 135 but now we officially got everything situated on the truck fingers crossed because we just dumped over a grand yes over a grand on the daily just to make that thing dailyable yeah i mean you literally the myth not the myth but like the 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 whole thing about getting a daily for the daily for the daily I think we're gonna have to uh, go about that because uh, <laughs> looks like we're gonna need it but anyhow we are heading down to Paul's shop right now and hopefully hopefully we're gonna go ahead and get this truck and hopefully zero leaks so uh, let's go ahead and check it out and hopefully everything is great in the Navy just arrived to Paul's shop and the truck is right here all right guys please 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 that looks old I'm not seeing anything new right now as it sits right here but uh I'm hoping, I'm hoping this was done right. What's now that? that is how you rip $1,100 <laughs> over one hose. Just got home, the truck is over there chilling like a villain and thankfully there's no leaks, the coolant did not go down, so thank the Lord. It ended up all being because of a hose. So next time, just a little tip for you guys so you guys don't have to spend a thousand dollars extra for labor like I just did. If you guys ever work on a major job and the parts are cheap, like to be honest, this whole job, it's mostly labor, like eight hours of labor and like a hundred dollars worth of parts. I bought everything but this hose and this one like coolant line Apparently was the issue from the entire time. I thought it was the gaskets. It turns out the line itself I didn't think that was possible. It's like a metal line I didn't think that could possibly get messed up But apparently it deformed it got messed up and that's what was causing the leaks He ended up replacing it. He's like when I went in there to replace it I noticed you replaced everything else but that if you would have replaced that hose line as well You would have been good, but honestly oh man, getting that hose line into the turbo was I think one of the reasons why I think I messed up the line So I didn't want to do that again at the end of the day it, the job is done. So I'm super happy about that we're officially back here, back in our garage, and I got my wife over here. Huge special shout out to her and her 135. She's about to install her, her first couple of mods. How do you feel? No idea. No idea. <laughs> She's actually, have you ever worked on a car before or nah? Yeah, he's trying to have to replace a tire, I have to change oil. Okay. But I have not put it to practice on your BMW. Like my, I never worked on my BMW. Okay, so you just like witnessed it. I witnessed it, but okay. I've never done it. Never done it. All right, so this is gonna be the first time for everything right here. So we got this amazing intake from Burger Tuning. So it's something like this. I heard this sounds so, so, so much better than the original intake. And what do you think? How, how, do, how does it look? It looks really nice. <laughs> I'm really excited. You excited? Okay. This is gonna look super dope. We also got blue matching. These are actually new. They only had the black ones for the longest time, and now they have red and blue ones as well. So we got matching blue cow filters that go up right over here. We're gonna go ahead and remove all of this and just put the two cow filters because honestly, that makes it super easy to access everything on this car. But if it looks ugly, 
Um, once we remove all of this, because I don't know how all that styrofoam is gonna look. On an N54, you have like an engine cover, all the, a beauty cover, all the way across. Right here, you can see a lot of ugly stuff. So we might just remove that filter and just add these two filters. That might just look good. Um, we'll see how that works. But anyhow, I wanna add these on for looks purposes. The intake, obviously, for many reasons. And now this bad boy is gonna be replacing the original oil filter. I think it's gonna look super dope. This guy is made out of billet aluminum. This thing's absolutely gorgeous, super light. You could feel the weight by it. It just feels super high quality. Compared to this one, it's just plastic and brittle. These actually break under some certain power gains. So, yes, we have all these amazing mods and we have the tune and a couple of things coming in for this from Burger Tuning and Keys Motorsports, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, let's go ahead, install all these bad boys. Actually, should we do a before and after how it sounds? With the with this intake, yeah. yeah I, I want to. I want to do that. before and afters. All right. So jump in the car real quick before we install any of this, and just give us a few revs. Forgot the keys, babe. <laughs> oh, I got that keyless entry, that flex though. Give it a quick one. Fast, deep and fast. There you go. So yeah, that's how it sounds. Turn it off real quick. We don't want it to get too warm. We literally just brought it back from getting the truck and we've been waiting for it to cool down. But anyway, as you can hear from the before, it sounds like a normal engine, a healthy engine, and that's it. There's no intake sounds, there's no nothing. This is 100% bone dry stock other than that K&N filter which we're replacing with the Burger Tuning one. So yeah, it should sound a lot better from what I've heard and I think it's gonna look so much better. Babe, you ready to install some stuff? Uh, are you making me install it? Yes, you're gonna be learning how to install some mods. Wait, these hands are supposed to look dirty. <laughs> Oh, okay. Anywho, you're gonna help me. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is actually just loosen up that bolt right there. That's gonna loosen up this clamp and this whole thing should pretty much just come out pretty easy. I mean, installing this intake is super easy on this car. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, left, is it, do you know the, the, the key to this? Lefty loosey, righty tidy, ever heard of that? Okay, so is that tightening or loosening currently right now? <laughs> All right, let me see that real quick. So currently, okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's how you loosen. Loosen? Yeah, so you wanna put it right on that head right there and just keep, just, you know, ratchet away. You wanna use two hands, put one head, you wanna put one hand on the top of it and then the other hand just kinda go, yep, yep, do pressure. Yep, oh. just like that, yep. Perfect, that's what we talking about, girl. Cool. Sheesh, what are those? Okay, time for you to retire. <laughs> I got this. Oh, you got this now? Okay. All right, guys, she's gonna be taking over the channel. I'm gonna take about a month off. You're about to see this thing fully modified in about a month, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What's happening? Yeah, you just keep unloosening. You're doing good. Okay. Right, I think that's. I think you're good. That's good. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Perfect. What do I do now? At this point, I mean, you're just loosening the clamp. When you loose, unloosen that, it just basically makes the clamp expand so you can pull it out. Yeah, it's hot in here, right? We're both gonna be sweating, it is what it is. Now the next thing you're gonna have to do, cause we're not replacing the entire box, so it's pretty easy. Uh, just go ahead and do this. Wait, no, how did you do that? Do, do that one? Yeah. Yep, perfect. One more here. Don't break your nails. <laughs> yeah, you probably break it. Oh, there you go. Did you just break your nail? Ew. Yeah, it is what it is. And then, uh, oh, we're gonna remove the beauty cover. All right, so you wanna lift up on that. It's a little hot, but you got it? All right, just put it anywhere real quick. So that's already uh, the first danger of the day right there. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see that? Glad that didn't happen to me. Sorry, babe. <laughs> it is what it is. Better to me than you, huh? But we need to take out these two screws up here and just remove the entire center. We could unplug it. Actually, just unplug it for now, right? Yeah. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this out as well. We don't need that anymore. So now that we got a T25 on this gun, let's go ahead and just reduce actually the power. We don't want this breaking anything. But yeah, should be good. So here's the gun right here. And you just want to pretty much Take out those two bolts right there holding that sensor down layer. Yep, hold it down. Oh, no, all the way down. Hold it all the way down. Yep, there you go. That's one bolt out. There you go. We can go ahead and uh, take out the sensor now. And uh, for these screws, just put it back on the intake so we don't lose them. So just tighten it, you know, just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, you know how to... You actually flipped the switch back. Right on. <laughs> Look at you. 
So with the BMS kit guys, you already put the intake onto this piece right here. I have a video on my second channel that shows a full dedicated install on this. And uh, it comes with this billet aluminum uh, adapter right here that helps it clamp into place. Because as you can see with the original intake, there are these clips that go into the box. So now this intake actually has a clip that goes into the box to so just keep it in place. It's super nice. But anyway, um, all right babe, so there are these two Phillip head screws. You can just take those out with your hand. All right, you got the two screws out. Cool, cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop the sensor in now. Eh, push that in as hard as you can until it clicks. Is it in there? I don't hear it click, but I think it's in there. It's in there, right? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. All right, put in the two screws now and just hand tighten it. So before tightening up both of them, you always wanna just get them both in there and then tighten them up little by little just to make sure the gasket sits properly. Um, so yeah, that little bracket, that little, little aluminum thing that you put in one screw in through the back, you just seat it into these grooves right here. It just goes into the grooves. You'll see what I mean when you guys are installing it. You just put it in an angle and then you bring it up and it just goes in there perfectly. So super easy, don't worry about that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that Phillips head back there. A little bit of a tight angle, but I mean, you pretty much do most of the tightening before it's even in there. The reason why you don't want to 100% tighten it in before uh, you put it in is just so it gives you a little bit of room so it slides in easier. And then just like that, honestly, a couple more turns. Yeah, that's in there. That's not going anywhere. That's perfect. So, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, what do you think of these? Do you like them or should we get rid of them? Mm, nah, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Yep. Just like that. It's the third one. And there's one more over here. Again, just bend it out and then it just comes out super easy. Bada bing, bada bing, that looks a lot better, right? Now obviously, we need to put the beauty cover back on. It'll make this look a lot better. So now that we have the intake installed, guys, uh, first things first, before I install anything else, you wanna go ahead and give it a few reps? Oh, okay. Yeah, just give it a few reps, uh, turn on the car and just, you know, do your thing. Give it a few reps. You hear that? <laughs> that sounds good, right? Yeah. Give it one more. Big one. <laughs> you can even hear more pops. Do you hear that? Oh my god. It sounds, it even makes the exhaust sound better. Oh my god, it sounds so good. All right, you're good, you're good. Turn it off. Anywho, so the intake successful install sounds super good. The next thing is for some more beauty and aesthetic and uh, easy to access. The reason people put in the blue cowl filters is because let's just say you have cylinder six misfire or cylinder four misfire, mostly N54s. N55s, you typically don't get as bad misfires or not, at least not as common. But if you do get those misfires, you don't want to take off all of this just to check the six spark plug or the six ignition coil or you know any of these other ones. So when you have all this removed and you have the two blue cowl filters, super easy to access and at the same time I love the way the blue uh, cow filters complement the intake it just looks super dope and uh, you ready to install it should be easy once you take out all the six bolts it should come out like butter yep just like that. So at this point, guys, you can pretty much put on the cow filters if you want it to look like that. Honestly, I think that's how it's gonna end up being. It's gonna look super clean this way, in my opinion. But we're gonna go ahead and just take it off because that's how it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and take off this bracketry here. All right, guys, so now that we have that entire cowl out, actually, it actually looks pretty good. My, what do you think of these guys right here? I like them. You like the struts? Yeah, so those exposed, actually this is very clean and organized. It looks really good. It still looks like you actually have to remove all the stuff to access all the spark plug ignition coils. N55s are just a piece of work. Not but, that I know, but like, yeah. But they are. <laughs> <laughs> But they are so much more reliable, guys, and it actually looks really, really, really good. I mean, I'm happy about that. Once you actually clean all that off, it's gonna look super, super, super nice and very organized. I love that. So yeah, at this point, let's go ahead and install your two cowl filters from Burger Tuning. I think it's gonna look so good. See, so yeah, guys, here are the cowls. I'm gonna go ahead and set these in there real quick. Guys, this is looking so much doper. This looks awesome. Anywho, so the next thing is we need to get this out. So, that being said, you do need one of these tools. You can get them from Amazon. Maybe Burger Tuning sells them, so I'm not really too sure. But the cool thing is you do need this tool to take off this filter. If you don't have this tool for your normal filter, you will not be able to get this out, period. But once you actually install the burger tuning one, you can just literally put a socket on the top and easily take it out. You can use literally regular tools to take it out. And again, this is built aluminum, way better quality, way nicer than compared to the plastic. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get that little bad boy out. We 
the only thing we really need from this, honestly, is this little center caddy. So basically you just push it off to the right or any direction, just like that, comes out. So this is what we actually need right here. So right here, guys, I don't know if you guys can see all these tabs on the bottom. That's basically meant for the caddy. So if you guys take this out right here, just there are tabs all around this as well. So once you just put it in, it should just click in. So just keep spinning it, push it in. Oh, that is firm. That is nice. That is way firmer than the other one. So uh, that is in there and it is not going anywhere. Make sure you guys transfer this over. If you don't, you will have engine issues. Like it's that big of a difference. So you guys do need this center caddy. The next part is honestly, we can just put back the filter just like that. Voila. And the last thing is we're gonna need the gasket from this guy right here So do not forget that gasket because if you do you will leak oil So uh go ahead get that gasket out. All right guys. We are in business We can go ahead and just pretty much put it right back in there um, Honestly, uh, actually let me just clean this out real quick and then we'll go ahead and put the filter back in mm. that is way better Let's go ahead and install the new filter now. Oh that feels so nice. All right guys, I pretty much honestly hand tightened it all the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a socket on there just to make sure it's 100% in there. Guys, look at this. It's literally the last one that I had at this place, so that's perfect. Oh, okay, that's in there, boys. So yeah, literally all you need now is a 19 millimeter and a ratchet instead of a 19 millimeter and this big old tool. So uh, way better, looks way nicer. What do you think, babe? I love it. Looks good? Looks so cute. Oh man. Just because was... it matches, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it helps with cooling as well, just because it's made of gold aluminum, it does help keep the temperatures down ever so slightly. Thank you. It is so hot. Mm, poor man. Woo! Okay, all right, let's go ahead and just detail this engine bay, guys, because it deserves a detailing. I think it's looks so much better. So let's go ahead. Three, two, one. Boop. Babe, what do you think of your engine bay transformation? It looks really pretty. <laughs> I think it looks pretty awesome. Are you all right? I love her. <laughs> yes, it looks pretty awesome. So I think at this point, guys, just go ahead. Um, do you want to go take it to the vacuum place and vacuum everything out? Yes, please. Yes, and at the same time, we can test out that intake. So I'm, you're going to have to give it some gas. Let's do it. All right, let's get it. So everyone always tells me on Instagram that I'm the only one driving their car and I never give her a chance to drive her own car. So. <laughs> I guess you're gonna be driving it now and honestly practice makes perfect if she drives this every single day She'll be an absolute pro so uh, yeah, she's gonna go ahead and take it out Remember to give it a little bit of gas so we can hear that intake if not by the time we get to the, the place that we actually vacuum I might actually have to give it a rip so we can actually hear the the intakes but, Why does it sound different when you do it? I mean, I just I just like I feel like I know how to like <laughs> any use those <laughs> Let's go ahead and head over to the vacuum place and uh, see if we can hear these intakes gonna go ahead and vacuum real quick it is just absolutely filthy in this car just because of the weather and stuff I mean it's not really our fault it's under the tree. yeah it's literally just because it's underneath the tree going to pop the trunk babe we also have a lot of garbage and like all the door seams and then obviously all over in here a bunch a bunch of that tree stuff that we're just gonna have to vacuum out pop the hood as well babe we're just gonna go ahead and vacuum all that stuff out as well and that and we'll get back to y'all in a quick minute you ready Ever so slightly, right? Yeah. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> I hear it too. Oh my god, it sounds good. Guys, even the exhaust is like, it's actually popping. Do you hear that? 
No, but I, I was not like right thing. now, but like when I was flooring it actually like a pop. One one big pop came out. You hear that? Yeah, it sounds good. Every time like I shift gears guys. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> you hear it between every single shift now because you got a lot off the gas. It sounds so good. <laughs> You should catch your reaction. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god, it sounds so good. All right, guys, at this point, I am heading over to Jonathan's right now. We're gonna go ahead and show him the engine bay. But oh my god, this intake sounds so good. The engine bay looks so much better. Let's go ahead and see Jonathan. He's actually chilling at my place. He moved into my place. I know, kind of weird, but he, he moved in. Like, it's super parents. Weird. My parents are super cool with it, and he wanted to come down and just kind of like do more videos with me. So uh, I did tell him about this new build I'm going to be trying to do, and I would need his help. So he actually, at the same time, he wanted to be closer to the city. So he, now he's local. He's at my place, my old place with my family. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go swing by and just say what's up. Hey, yo, Johnny, we're here. Okay, I'm heading down. Uh, are you good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? You want to see what we did? Yes. You want to step can to the I, front of the vehicle? Guess. What guess you what did? we did. Charge pipe. Nope. And walk out. Okay. Nope. Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys? Do? Intake, oh. and two other things. You will never guess it. So just uh, <laughs> go to the front of the car real quick. This is this back. is just from this sound is just from an intake, all right? Uh, burger tuning. Oh, okay. Not bad for just an intake, huh? Sounds pretty good. It's not even a blow up valve. Imagine right. if I added a blow up valve. <laughs> it sounds so good. Anywho, uh, we want to. You, you will see the other two things that we just did right now. Go on and pop the engine bay, Johnny. I'm not trying to uh, 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 flex or anything, but. <laughs> check it out, check it out. Okay, I see. <laughs> Bro, does it look all look good? Oh my the god, we, we got the blue cow. Oh, That's blue. new. They normally only have it in black, but now they have the blue ones. Blue intake, blue uh, bill aluminum uh, filter. Dude, yeah, that's looking good. But I mean, together, okay, man. so the cow filters on this car, you still have to remove so much stuff to get to your spark plugs, though. N54s are easier, but I guess they made it that way because that's so much more problems. <laughs> I think they anticipated N55s are not going to have as many problems, so they don't make it as easy to get to. It is what it is, though. This looks absolutely stunning. So, okay, guys, if you guys want any of these burger tuny things, the links are going to be down below. The intake, the bill of aluminum, uh, oil filter, and the cowl filters. Again, links down below. Without further ado, that's going to conclude the video. I'm going to be helping Jonathan with uh, one of his videos right now, right? So, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.